Hello, we are back. This is Dr. Zhu here with uh, Mr. Yusuf Malikabal. And we are Hello. continuing our conversation on our um, social etiquette and discovering the differences between the East and West, so-called, and looking at women's rights, East versus West. What would you say about this and enlighten us, please? Well, I think uh, as far as women's rights is concerned, uh, it's uh, basically and again a cultural difference, it's a cultural thing. We have in, in Pakistan and in the subcontinent, a woman plays a very important role, very vital role. Mm -hmm. If you see the role of a mother yes. in, in Pakistan, the whole house surrounds around her. She is the one who calls the shot, not the man. Only at home. At home. Only yes. at home. Yeah. She go because we do not expect the woman in Pakistan to go out and work. I see. Okay. There are now women uh, going out and working, and that is basically because uh, there's been a change, the paradigm shift. Yes. Um, more Western education is coming in. People are getting, uh, in, women are getting into jobs. So there the dynamics change, but if you're talking about the basic fundamental dynamics of, of this culture, then the woman plays a very vital role. Uh, in England, I remember I used to play cricket in, in, in London and we were having an evening conversation after the match and we were discussing the same thing about women's role. And I said, look, after 18, a woman is left to fend for herself in the Western world. Now you're grown up, so you learn from your own mistakes. In the process, she may have six, seven relationships uh, before she settles down. In, in this culture, that's a big no-no. You need to have one relationship and settle down. There's a pros and cons and they are debatable. Uh, you don't get to know the person you are marrying and spending your life with, so on and so yes. forth. But that's the different cultural background that we have. Uh, the more Western education comes, I think that when a woman steps out of a house and starts working in banks and things like that, then things change. Don't forget we had a woman prime minister yes. and a very popular one. Uh, she won elections over her hands down uh, to so many male uh, politicians. So it's, it's not that, uh, I think it's just the cultural difference. Yes, so basically uh, when we're talking about joint family system and combined family system, what does this uh, basically mean? Uh, because I haven't seen this kind of before in my life, or my, during my travelings, so many people living together in, a, in the same house, and these houses are not really small houses, big houses with different apartments in there, as you can imagine. I think uh, the Western world have developed a system, they have institutionalized their way of living. Yes. They have a social security system. Yes. They have a system where if you are homeless, uh, housing, especially in Britain, yes. Yes. it's a welfare state, they give you stipends. If you are a single mother uh, with a child, they take special care of you. Uh, in our society, we don't have a concept of a single mother, an unmarried mother. Uh, whereas uh, in, 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 in England, it's an it's, it's acceptable form. It was not an acceptable form 50 years ago, 60 years ago, it was not acceptable. Uh, girls used to commit suicide when they got pregnant, or they would be sent away. Uh, where to an unknown place, deliver the child and come back and uh, proclaim that it's, a, it's her younger brother. Yes. So uh, times are changing as far as these uh, things are concerned. But because we do not have social security system over here, I think it's a good system of having a combined family system. For example, if I'm jobless, the food is being cooked in the house, I'll be given food in the, in the evening, my wife will be looked after. My kid will be looked after by my brother who, who's in job and the food is being cooked. And vice versa if tomorrow he's without a job. So we, we tend to support one another in, in, in so one family. The money, money which comes in from everybody goes into one, uh, one wallet and then it, it's spent for everybody's needs. In, is this how in, it looks in like? some families, yes, the money goes to the mother. 
But yeah, but the major share, of course, is kept by the bread earner himself. If I am earning, then of course the major share is with me, and I have to look after my wife and her needs, and my kids' needs come come uh, as, as a primary requirement. Yeah. But food is not food is one of that. Food is provided for everybody, everybody. irrespective of right. who earned uh, the day's living or not. So I think in in, in a society where uh, we don't have institutionalized, structured, governing system. This is a very good system. Good. Thank you, Yusuf, and we will be right back with some other interesting stuff. Thank, Thank you. you.